I have been bombarded recently with people asking if they can give me clothes and shoes and accessories that they are no longer wearing anymore because I tell them what I do. And so I have stuff in my house from one, two, three, three different people soon getting more from a fourth and the fourth person is not even someone that I know it's um, a neighbor of my sister-in-law's this neighbor is moving so my sister-in-law told her that I you know would take her stuff that she didn't want to take with her and then I believe I have two more friends who are gonna be bringing me stuff here very soon as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through some of that inventory so you can get an idea of what kind of stuff I get for free from friends and as we're going through it this is my first time like really looking at any of this stuff as we go through it I will share with you how much I think I'm going to be pricing the items at and what the deal is that I worked out with each individual some people are just giving me stuff for free just for me to make money off of some of them want to cut and I'm going to explain my process to you so we're going to start in today's video this is probably going to be like two three four videos but in today's video we're going to go over one of my friends stuff it is a family um, a husband and a wife and two kids I believe the stuff in here is just from the husband and wife I think mainly from the husband and he was like please don't judge me for having stuff so much clothes he was like my mom buys me a ton of clothes that's why I have so much a lot of it still has tags attached it's just stuff that I didn't wear anymore and they're moving um, to the suburbs of Chicago and they wanted to downsize their stuff understandably so and so they gave me a ton of stuff let me show you what we're working with here so there are just boxes and boxes of things he also gave me this really nice rack um, he said him and his wife used it when they lived in a studio apartment when they first got married because um, they didn't really have a lot of closet space and so I think that'll be really good to hang like dresses and coats and stuff like that on but we're gonna try to get through all of this today so if you're excited to see what's in here and what I got stay tuned won't nobody love you the way they should won't nobody check up on you make sure you're good won't nobody check those body tremors by your neck Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park. I'm a part-time reseller and it is finally summer break So I am able to spend a little bit more time reselling than I did during the school year However, we are going on a ton of trips. In fact next week We're getting ready to go to Hawaii for a couple weeks And so I wanted to go through all of this stuff that's in my house from different friends and family so that um, I can you know send them their money just kind of get some things out of my house if it's stuff that I know I can't resell sell and I have to take to a thrift store um, but yeah let's go through my friend's stuff here there is I mean just even from the top I can tell that there's some good stuff so right on top of this first bag by the way I apologize if the lighting is not good there's like natural I, whatever um, so the first thing is this messenger bag um, I believe this was his it's in great condition the brand is banana Republic um, if you open it up you can fit like a laptop in there this was right on top and when I saw it I asked my husband if he would be interested in it interested in it because he has this like ratty tatty uh, messenger bag that he uses for work I think it's from like American Eagle or something I don't even know and it is falling apart and he's like no I love my bag and I'm like okay so this I don't know it's so nice I kind of feel like I could list it for like 35 to 50 dollars I will definitely look up comps and find out this bag I was so excited by because it's lululemon and it is a huge bag it almost looks like a bowling ball bag <laughs> i can't really believe that lululemon would be in the business of selling bowling ball bags now there are some flaws there are some like stains and whatnot on the exterior some of which i think i could get off like those kind of darker ones i think i could almost like scratch them off but then there are some more throughout regardless i still think that it will you know sell for a decent amount i'm not sure exactly how much i'm not really in the business of selling lululemon bags the interior looks great there are two compartments and they're both zippered compartments and the lining of both look pretty clean okay so it looks like it's a yoga bag because it says your mat loves you <laughs> that's kind of cute it's just really big and bulky and it's got some like organizing pockets I honestly feel too like this could be used for a diaper bag but it's in this really nice mint green color oh you know what so this zipper is not in the best condition there is some wear just from you know 
being used a lot. So actually, um, one of the compartments has two zippers to zip it open and shut. And one of the zipper pulls, it won't go any higher than this. So that's a definite flaw. I still think I could get like, I don't know, I'd say at least $30 for this after I clean it up a little bit. Not bad. All right, so now we're into a ton of clothes. These are leggings. I think they're Lululemon. Yep, so here is the logo. Um, I don't know anything about like what style pant this is. It has like a very small uh, like chevron print, if you can see that. It's like a knit pair of leggings. They're really nice. Let's see if I can find the size. Oftentimes they're in the pockets of the pants. So the wife just had her second child, and I think, you know, if you have ever given birth, you know that your body just changes um, after giving birth. I can't find a size on this. I can look a little bit more later, but um, I think a lot of the stuff from her is just a result of her not, you know, wearing the same size that she used to uh, once she started having kids. That is very common. Um, this is a Lacoste polo. It is just in a nice solid black color. Lacoste uses kind of like interesting sizing. So this is in a size four, which I don't remember exactly what that translates to in men's sizing for like US sizing, but just beware that when you see a Lacoste piece, it's just gonna have very different sizes than maybe what you're used to seeing. And that's okay. This is a J. Crew factory polo shirt in a size medium. And you know that it's factory because it has the two little dots underneath. Um, anything that's like in a size medium, I'm actually gonna show my husband because maybe he'll want it. I feel like a lot of the clothes in this haul are gonna be from, you know, brands like J. Crew, Polo, that sort of stuff. And my husband does like those brands. So this is the same polo, but this is in a gray color. It's really nice and lightweight. To be honest, I feel like for these kinds of polo shirts, I would list them for like 15 to $18. Um, they're not a big money maker to say the least. This is a blazer and it is by Inc. International Concepts which is um, a Macy's brand. So to be honest, I'm not super excited about this piece. It almost looks like it's made of a linen blend though. Let's see. Let's see what you're made out of. Oh yeah, it's cotton and linen. So it's like that does, maybe I'll list it. It's in a size small, just because it has some linen in it. I'll probably go ahead and list it. And I'll probably list it pretty low, like maybe for $25, just try to move it pretty quickly. Um, this is just an Adidas t-shirt. This is in a size large. This is the kind of thing, if, if I'm getting it for free or if I am you know, picking it up at the bins, I'll just go ahead and pick it up. I can probably sell it for like 15-ish dollars. Um, I might see if my husband wants this one as well. Mm -hmm. So the deal that I worked out with this family is that I am going to go through each item, give them an idea of how much I think I can sell everything for, um, like how much profit I would make, and then I'm gonna give them 50% of that. And part of it is like we're friends, it's almost like a moving gift for them, you know what I mean? But I also get to make a little bit of money off of it as well. So this is a pair of Nike shorts, but these are gonna get donated because um, they have elastic in the waistband, and you can hear sometimes when a piece is a little bit older, there's like a crunchy sound. Do you hear that? You hear that a lot in like swimsuits and that just means like the integrity of the waistband is not gonna hold. So these are unfortunately just no good to anyone anymore. So that's gonna go in a pile way over there which is a you are being donated pile. This is just a plain white uh, kind of like undershirt from Calvin Klein. I'm trying to see if there are any stains on it but this is the type of thing that I am not gonna list. If anything, I might start a little pile of stuff that um, I might take to a consignment store because we do have a consignment store in the area that does men's clothes as well. I doubt they would take something that simple, but we'll see. The next thing here is a pair of like old school Jordan, like Nike shorts. These are in a size large. These are like those old school basketball shorts that people used to wear. There are some like pulls and nicks and stuff, not nicks, but just some pulls in the fabric, as you can see. Um, I don't know, I have to look at comps, do a little bit of research. I feel like 
maybe these are making a little bit of a comeback. These definitely feel very like in 90s to me. So those might get listed. We'll see. And if so, I don't know how much for. This is another pair of the same thing, but this is in a size medium. Again, it's like that Jordan logo. So it's part of Nike. But see, well, I, you couldn't really hear it then. Let me check these. Okay, this elastic band is good, um, especially on older pieces. You just want to check that waistband and make sure that it's not making that crunchy sound. So these, so these are in a little bit better condition. They don't have quite as many pulls on the fabric. If I had to guess, I would guess like 15-ish dollars. We shall see. This, ooh, okay, so this is a pair of, like, I'm pretty sure these are linen pants. They are brand new with tags. These retailed for $125. They are Lauren Ralph Lauren because Lauren Ralph Lauren does make men's clothes as well. So this has the Ultra Flex um, technology. These are in a size 33 by 30, dry clean only. What are you made out of? Are you linen? Are you 100% linen? I'm pretty sure you are. Where is the tag? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out, but I'm not gonna waste your time doing it. So. Yeah, these I'm very excited about listing. Um, you know, it's stuff like this that does make it a little bit hard when you're trying to pay people up front for things just because you don't know how much something like this is going to sell for. You have high hopes for it, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get what you want for that item. So, you know, we'll see what happens. This is another new with tags item. I'm going to see if my husband wants this because I'm pretty sure he could use more swimsuits. So this is in a size medium it's polo ralph lauren um we are going to hawaii like i said in a couple weeks after that we're going to disney world and then we're going to seattle so lots of reasons to like have swimsuits i'm going to see if my husband wants that if i were to list this i don't know i'd probably let's see how much it retailed for it retailed for 80 i'd probably list it for around 35 to 40 dollars and the lauren ralph lauren pants if they are 100 percent linen i would probably list for at least 50 dollars if not more this is a pair of adidas shorts in a size medium did you hear it Th these gotta go the elastic waist band is no good this looks like another pair of swim trunks this is calvin klein in a size medium the elastic band is good. These are a little bit longer, so I don't know if my husband will be interested in them because I think for swim trunks he wants to go with like the trendier, shorter style, but I'm still going to see if he wants them. Mm. Um, those I would probably list for like 20 ish dollars. This is one of those like North Face Denali fleece type situations. This has a lot of wear to it though, and what I mean by that is you can see the pilling, lots of pilling. Now, could I take a sweater shaver to this or like comb it out almost and make it new? Maybe, is it worth it? Like, is it gonna make me that much money? Probably not, especially because this is an extra large youth, juniors. Um, so even in pristine condition, I feel like it would get me maybe 25 to $35. Um, I don't know if it's really worth the work and the effort. This is something that I might try at a kid's consignment store, so I'll put it in a separate pile. I don't think they'll take it in that condition though, but we'll see. This is another pair of the Jordan, like Nike Jordan shorts in a size medium. The elastic waistband sounds good. Maybe I'll bundle these because they're all kind of a similar style and maybe someone just wants like three pairs of those all in one go. This is a jacket. Oh my gosh. This is from Delia's. Do you guys remember Delia's? It was so popular when I was little. I used to get the catalog and like circle all the things that I wanted. And I don't think I ever got a single thing from that catalog because we did not have that kind of money. But this, I wonder if it'll be popular with like the whole 90s Y2K resurgence because Delia's was definitely part of that. It's just a three button peacoat. It is made of a wool blend and it's in a size extra small. So um, even just for the very classic style of it, I wonder if I could at least pull like $35 from that. I'll definitely list it. Um, this, oh my gosh, this is so heavy duty. This is rough hewn which is, I think they saw this at Kohl's. Um, this is a size medium. It is a full zip hoodie. And I don't know, It's it's been well loved. And even the tag says well loved. Like I think it's supposed to look worn in. It is lined with this like faux 
like fur Sherpa stuff. I don't think this is worth listing. I'll probably go ahead and donate this or maybe I'll try it out at the consignment store. Oh my goodness. Some of these things are just so, oh, this is like a robe. <laughs> okay. This is Nautica sleepwear. It's one size fits all. It is. It's like a bathrobe. Okay. I think this is worth listing. I don't know how much I could get for it. I have to look it up, but I'm assuming I could sell this for at least 25 ish dollars. We shall see. I don't know this brand. Uni vibe in a size medium. I'll have to do some research. It is just a men's tank top, just perfect for really hot days. Um, it almost has like Pacific Sunwear vibes, but I don't know. I imagine it would be worth like $10. I'm going to see if my husband wants that. This is divided, which is um, H&M. This is in a size small. It is a sleeveless top. It almost looks like the sleeves were cut off by him. This is just going to get donated. H&M. That sure probably cost $5 to begin with. This is Gap. This is a size large. It's the best crew neck t-shirt. I mean, I have sold stuff like this before, but the question is, is it worth it? Is it worth my time to photograph and list this? Probably not. I might try consigning that one. I kind of doubt they would take it, but we'll see. This is Banana Republic. This is a silk cotton cashmere blend sweater. It's very lightweight. It's in this nice gray color. Um, it's got that kind of like elastic hem at the bottom, which I know for my husband and like my father-in-law, they hate that. So, you know, you just have to be aware that it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's made of nice materials. I'll definitely list it. That's great for, um, men who work in like business settings or like teachers and stuff. And I can probably pull at least $20 out of that, if not a little bit more. This is the same sweater, but in a blue color. It's the same cotton cashmere cotton blend sweater. Very nice. This is by the brand 32 Degrees Cool. I don't know what that is. I want to say, again, it's like Kohl's or something. This is in a size large. It's in this nice blue color. Um, I think that this is a good type of item to try to consign. This is an Argyle sweater uh, from Banana Republic again. This is in a size small. And this looks, oh, it's not a sweater. It's a vest. <laughs> It's 80% silk, 15% cotton, 5% cashmere. So it's that same line, I think. Just like a little sweater vest. Interesting. I'll go ahead and list it. It's so lightweight. So definitely makes for a nice layering piece. Um, this is the same thing, but in gray. <laughs> Do you guys know those kinds of people? The people who like... They find something that they like and they buy it in a bunch of different colors. And again, a lot of this, I don't think he bought himself. I think his mother bought for him, which is really cute. Banana Republic factory. And you know that because of the three dots or the three diamonds underneath where it says Banana Republic. This is a really nice shirt. I actually, I'm going to see if my husband wants it. It's in a size medium. It's in like a nice heathered, mm, like really, I, I'm going to say brown. Yeah. That'll go in my husband's pile. You guys, my husband's going to have a lot of nice clothes after this haul. Okay, this is Banana Republic again. It is a full zip, not quite argyle, but just kind of like checkered sweater. I feel like it is that cotton cash, cashmere. Cotton cashmere. Oh no, it's 100% wool. Even better. You guys, Banana Republic is definitely... I would say within the top five for me when it comes to men's bread and butter brands. And speaking of which, I will have a video coming out somewhat soon about men's bread and butter brands, similar to my shoes bread and butter brands video, but just about men's brands. And Banana Republic is most definitely going to be on there. This is another Banana Republic. It is that silk cotton cashmere blend. This is in a green v-neck. Again, super lightweight. What's going on here on the side? Oh, it's just kind of wrinkled. Um, so the hope is, right, that I'll get these listed and there will be a man or a woman out there who just loves that line from Banana Republic with like the uh, silk, cotton, and cashmere and that they find all these pieces in my eBay store or Poshmark closet and they buy it all. That's the hope. This is Banana Republic as well. This is a size medium. I think this is a wool piece. It is this gray full zip mock neck 
sweater. It's very nice. Banana Republic makes quality clothes and it is 80% merino wool and then nylon and other fiber. But you know, this kind of thing I can probably price at least for $35, if not more. So that's exciting. This is by the brand 21 Men, which I believe is Forever 21. Um, so this, to be honest with you, it being such a simple t-shirt, um, it's definitely something that I would either just donate or I would send it to the consignment store. So I'm going to try the latter. This is Banana Republic Factory again with the three diamonds in a size medium. This is kind of like a grandpa sweater. It's got like the shawl collar. It's got these big buttons on the front. That's really nice actually. Oh, there's a little stain on the front. Uh, yeah, there is. I couldn't tell if it was like the light playing tricks on me, but I think I could still sell it. So I don't, if it's machine washable, I might try washing it first and then selling it, but we'll see. This is a great piece. This is, uh, I don't know if it's Ralph Lauren or Polo Ralph Lauren. Let's see. It's Polo Ralph Lauren, size large, 100% cotton. This is another one of my bread and butter men's brands is Polo by Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren does really well too, but I find more Polo by Ralph Lauren and I sell more Polo by Ralph Lauren because it's more um, affordable than Ralph Lauren. And this can probably sell for, I would say $35. That's a nice piece. And then there's one more thing in this box. This is Banana Republic again. This is a size medium. This is a really nice sweater. My husband does not like these kind of bulky knit sweaters. He hates anything made of wool. So I feel like all these kinds of pieces he is, he is not down to clown with. But this is a really nice piece. This, oh, 44% lamb's wool and then there's acrylic and nylon. But it's really nice. Yeah. So this one I can probably pull around $35 from as well. That is the end of box one. And there are like four more boxes to go. Let's do this long box, this long kind of shallow box next. Um, lots of pants in here, which I'm excited about. So these are Zara jeans, it looks like. Zara man. This is in a US size 31. Um, they are just gray pants. And sorry, let me show you the tag. Most of you have probably seen it before. And Zara goes through a lot of different um, logos. And oh, wait, I thought I just saw like a huge hole. Maybe I didn't. Am I crazy? You guys, I'm just seeing things now. Okay, I think these are in pretty decent condition. So the thing, no, there's like a big stain. These are not worth listing. There's like just a lot of wear slash, you might not be able to see it because of the lighting, but there is something going on in the leg here that will probably get donated. I mean, it still has a lot of life to it. Okay, this is that 32 degrees cool again. I'm looking for a size. I feel like an old person. I'm trying to like, yeah, I can't find a size, but I will probably just consign it with the other one and hope that they take both as kind of a package deal. This is Polo by Ralph Lauren. It's a size medium and it is a blue and white striped, very preppy, very classic polo shirt. These I can sell all day long, usually between like, I don't know, it just really depends, like 20 to $30, I would say. I'll probably list it around 25, but that is a bread and butter sale right there. This is the same exact thing, but in a size small and in a lighter blue color with like these little thinner stripes. They're really cute. Again, just very preppy, perfect for business casual wear in an office setting or for a teacher. You can wear that to church. This is John Ashford in a size medium. It's 100% cotton. Um, I, I don't know. I think John Ashford is sold at places like Macy's. I don't think it's a very high-end menswear brand, but I do like this plaid. It's very like festive, very holidays-ish, but you know what? There are stains. Lots of stains on the sleeve, so that's gonna go. It's definitely not worth my time. This is J. Crew Fact. No, just regular J. Crew. This is in a size small. It is this like gray and blue plaid print button up shirt. I'm gonna see if my husband wants this because he wears this kind of stuff to work a lot. So we'll see if he likes that. Now, with these kinds of button up shirts, I like to check a couple spots because 
um, a lot of times you can get burned with button-up shirts in these spots. So I always check the inside of the collar. A lot of men just sweat a lot there and um, you know like the collar is always sitting against their neck all day long and a lot of times depending on like the pigmentation of their skin and it's not it's not that they're like dirty people it's just some people sweat like just has like a uh, actual like yellowish color to it when it touches clothing um, but you'll see like yellowing on the inside of the collar on some people's clothes and then I also look at the sleeves because that's where you know a lot of people spill like when it comes to clothes and stuff like that so with button-up shirts those are two places that I definitely look but that's gonna go in the pile for my husband okay this is a pair of shorts this is banana republic this is the aiden short in a size 33 um they're very lightweight almost feel kind of like nylon-y they feel like they'd be really good to like go hiking in and stuff like that like they almost when i felt them i was like oh this must be by the north face but they're not another pair of swim trunks let's do the test that didn't sound very good this is nautica yeah and look you can already tell like there's there's no saving that waistband, so that's gotta go. This is a pair of chinos or like khaki pants. This is from Gap. They are the lived in slim. These are size 34 by 30. Um, I mean, I think they're in fine condition. I don't see any stains or anything. I will probably at the most get like $20 from these. That's okay. I like $20. Um, these are a pair of shorts from Gap. They're in a size 32. They are new with tags. They were on sale for $44.95, but clearance down to $18.97. I would probably list these for like $25. Um, I would have my husband try them on, except he's just, he's not about like bright colors. I don't know. I might just see if he'll like them, but he probably won't. Mm. This is Banana Republic. These are the same Aiden short in a blue color. And these are in a size 33. By the way, um, if you are ever watching any of my haul videos and you see anything that you're interested in, feel free to shoot me um, an email. I do have my email down in the description below or you can DM me on Instagram. That's probably the best way to get in contact with me because I'm really slow when it comes to email to be honest with you. And if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because there will be more videos like this coming up. So um, next up we have Abercrombie & Fitch. This is a size 31. I bet these are so old. I bet these are like vintage. But um, these are in like a white color which means that there are going to be stains and there are there are a decent number. I don't know if you can see them. So honestly, these are probably going to go like I'm sure there's someone out there who will buy those at a thrift store and take the time necessary to get the stains out. I'm not that person. I should say my husband is not that person. That's not worth enough for him to work really hard to get the stains out. This is J. Crew size 32, and it's J. Crew Factory, which you know because of the two diamonds underneath. This is my husband's size. Ugh, there's a stain on the butt though. These are really cute, but they're probably they would probably sell between like 18 and 25 ish dollars, which is not enough for me to ask my husband to take the time out of his day to get some stains out. If those were worth $100, he, I'd be asking him to get some stains out, but those are not worth it. This is Gap, size 32. They're in like this mint green color. Um, these are very interesting. It almost looks like micro corduroy. I mean, I don't see any stains. I will go ahead and list them. They're a nice summery color. Do you see like the very, very fine ribbing? Very interesting. Probably only worth like 15-ish dollars, but I'll sell, okay, there's this random <laughs> hair bow. This is a pair of shorts by Banana Republic. They're in size 33, 100% cotton. They're in this nice like grayish blue color. They have a drawstring. I gotta get these shorts up really soon because this is the kind of stuff people are shopping for. Okay, another pair of jeans. These are brand new. These are Calvin Klein. They're size 32 by 30. They are a slim straight jean. Honestly, I'm gonna have my husband try these on because he hates shopping so if we can just get stuff here that fits him and he doesn't have to go out to get it that's awesome so we'll see if he likes these mm -hmm. they are a nice dark wash but if not i don't know i'd probably be able to list those for around like 35 40 dollars i would assume this is polo ralph lauren size large 
just amazing bread and butter. It is this blue full zip sweater with like a mock neck with the big logo. It's got a number three patch on, what's a number three? Let me open it up. On the side of the arm. And this is, this is a really great piece. I think I could get at least 35 for this. So, you know, he's really giving me the good stuff here. There's some really good pieces. This is another Polo Ralph Lauren full zip mock neck sweater. This one is in a size medium. I thought I saw a stain. Let's see. I think we're okay. This one has like a, like a baseball feel to it, like a baseball jacket feel with like the pockets that way. Um, yeah, I think again, probably close to 35 on that. This is a hoodie. It is a Polo Ralph Lauren hoodie in a size large. It is in this bright blue color. It's got the kangaroo pocket and it says USA. <laughs> Again, it's got the three on the side. There is some pilling on the patches as you can see, but those are really easy to fix with a sweater shaver. This will look really great, really fast. Um, yeah, a little bit of pilling on the sleeves as well but I can definitely work with that. Probably, yeah, around 30, 35 on that. This is a Gap pullover hoodie. This has a lot of that pilling as well. Um, I don't know, like this feels very 90s to me, but I don't know that it's really worth much. Also, the sleeves have a lot of wear. I don't know if this is worth listing. We'll see, I'll put it in the list me pile, but who knows if it'll stay there. This is, Gap. It is just like a Henley. I can probably get like $10 for this. So honestly, for something like this, I'm going to consign because I don't want to take the time out of my life to list that. This is the same thing. This is, okay, maybe I can make a lot actually. Oh, well, this is not the same thing. This is GH Base & Co. Um, this is a size medium, but again, it's like a Henley top. I think I'm going to just... <sighs> This one feels better than the Gap ones. Actually, these two feel good. I'll go ahead and list those. This one though, it just feels not so good. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Eh, we'll see, maybe I'll just bundle those. So I'll put them all in the list pile for now. This is Banana Republic Soft Wash, size large, just a short sleeve t-shirt with like a round neck. Okay, if there's a bunch of these, I could sell them as a lot. This is not worth selling by itself though. So this is another Gap Best Crew Neck. I think I have one of these already in this pile of stuff that I'm going to uh, consign. Let's see, I think it's this one, yeah. So if I can put together like decent lots of stuff in the same size, then maybe that's worth it, right? This is Alfani. This is just a Macy's house brand, I want to say. Um, I definitely don't need to list that one. That'll go in the consigned pile. This is Gap, the Essential Crew. So this is not the same thing as the other ones, but I'm going to start a new pile in hopes that there are more of this style of shirt. I have sold, you know, bundles of like five undershirts, just plain white from Banana Republic for like $25 before, so you never know. This is a Banana Republic Basic Crew shirt in a size small. I don't know, these are all such different styles, so I don't know if I'll have enough to like lot stuff. Eh, this one has a stain on it. This is Banana Republic, the fitted crew shirt in a size medium in like this chartreuse color. This has some stains on it. This is the Banana Republic Soft Wash, so I do have another shirt in the same style. So that can get put in that lot. This is J. Crew Factory, which we don't have a pile for yet, but you know what, this has a stain too, so that's gonna go. Here's your reminder, make rice. Alexa, turn off reminder. Apparently we're supposed to make rice. Okay, so this is washed J. Crew Factory um, in a size large. These are all like really nice t-shirts. They're just so soft and like comfy. You know what? You know what I might do with these? <laughs> with like the lighter ones, maybe I'll tie dye them. Like not to sell, just for myself. Ooh, that's kind of what I want to do. Yeah, 
I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so like this one and this one. Ooh, I'm so excited now. I think all of these, except for this one. I guess this one I could do like a little bleach thing. You guys, this is going to be so fun. Okay, and even the ones with stains we could do that with. So I'm going to make a little pile for myself to do some tie-dye stuff with. Okay, this is Banana Republic size medium. It is this really nice brown t-shirt. It has the little Banana Republic logo. It seems to be in good shape. I could probably get like 10-ish dollars for it. Is it worth it? No, I'm gonna consign that one. This is Nike. This is a size medium. Um, I'm gonna see if my husband wants it because it's just like a sleeveless, just like a tank. And I feel like he will get a lot of use out of that. So we'll see how he feels about that one. This is Montreal 1976, USA Olympics. Interesting. This is in a size medium. I guess the Olympics were in Montreal in 1976, but this is just a shirt commemorating that. I doubt that this is from 1976 because it's the brand, it says like exclusive Olympic USA. Yeah, I doubt that this is like actually vintage 1976, but that's kind of cool. I'll list that. This is, this is interesting. Okay, so this is Nike Dry Fit, size large. First of all, it says Nike SB. I don't know what SB is. I want to say softball. I know that this man did not play softball. And then the logo and like the letters, do you see that, like that texture, it's really interesting. Um, there are also stains on this though, so I don't think I'm gonna list that. This is another Nike shirt, it's in a size large, it's green, it's got the big swoosh. However, there's a lot of cracking on the logo itself, and it's not like single stitch or anything. I don't think that it's necessarily vintage. And even if it were, I don't know if it's like super impressive vintage. I mean, it is like the center swoop. Maybe I'll do a little bit more research. I'll hold on to it, do a little bit more research and see if that's worth any monies. All right, we're getting to the end of this thin box. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a size medium. It is just a long sleeve t-shirt. Um, that's not really a stain. I mean, I might see if my husband wants that, actually. Put that in his pile. Ooh, this is so nice. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. This is in a size large in, like, this maroon color. And it's uh, basically, like, a... It almost has the feel of, like, a waffle knit sweater. I just really like the contrast of the white trim against this color, of, against, like, the maroon. I think that's so nice. That'll probably go for, like, at least 25 if not more. This is a Nike hoodie. Um, again, a little bit of pilling. Not too much. I really like this, actually. Again, I might see if my husband wants this. Size large. It's a little big. And there are a few little stains and stuff. But I think this one, even if my husband does not want it, I think that one is definitely worth washing and selling. Mm -hmm. I can probably get at least 25 if not more for that. And then here's another Nike um, pullover in a brown and gray. Not a very common colorway, but this one is in a size large. This one's really cool. I will list it for at least 35 if not more. Okay, that is the end of the shallow long box. Let's throw that over there. We've got like, I would say two more boxes. There's three, but two of them are only halfway full. All right, so let's start with some jeans in here. This is a pair of jeans by Gap. They are in a slim fit, size 32 by 30. They're in a nice dark wash. I'm gonna see if my husband wants to try these on and wear them. Mm -hmm. For jeans, one place that I have learned to check is the hem because I have been burned too many times by you know purchasing jeans and stuff at thrift stores and realizing that the pants have been hemmed um, and that's you know super annoying so I do always make sure to check there this is another pair of jeans this is from Banana Republic Heritage these are size 32 by 30 as well I don't know if they do this like heritage line anymore um, 
I remember they were doing it a while ago. These are, I think, in like a black color. They look like they're also in like a slim straight. They're button fly. I don't think my husband likes that, so I'm not even going to show him these. And I don't feel like he likes black denim. So these I'll just go ahead and list. I'll probably list these for around 25 This is a pair of green jeans by Banana Republic. They're called the Traveler. They are a slim... Je I'm, I'm hesitating to say jean because they don't really feel like denim. Like, they have the look of denim, but they have a lot more stretch to them, it feels like. I don't know. Very interesting. I don't think that my husband will like these. There's definitely a lot of wear. Like, you can see... I don't know. I, I might list these, but just not list them for very much. We shall see. So my plan is, after showing you all of this stuff, and since I have things separated out, I'm going to let my husband try on his pile of clothes, and then I'm just going to go through, make a spreadsheet, and write down how much I think I should be able to earn on each piece, and then basically just Venmo them the amount for half of what I think I could earn. Um, you know, a lot of times that means that I end up making even a little bit less than half because sometimes I'll go to photograph something that I've said I'm going to sell for a certain amount only to realize that there's a flaw I didn't notice while, you know, I was showing it to you or even while I was looking at it again to take down, you know, the information regarding price and stuff. But it, that's the price you pay. I'd rather do that than keep track of the items as they sell and send them money throughout, I think that is just a lot more headache for a longer period of time, even though you're going to make an accurate amount of money, like you're going to be able to give them exactly half of their profit every time something sells versus like guessing. And sometimes you end up making a little bit more than you thought you were, or you end up losing money. Um, but I'd rather kind of be done with it, just give them their money. And then those pieces are mine to do with what I want. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the plan. Um, this is Polo by Ralph Lauren. Again, just like a very simple t-shirt. So I think this is a perfect one to tie-dye, which I'm so excited about. I have to tell my friend she won. We had like huge tie-dye parties a couple years ago in the summer. And it was so fun. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. Now that I have this tie-dye idea in my head, I just feel like I'm going to tie-dye everything. <laughs> we do like the ice tie-dye. I don't know if you guys have done that. This, um, is like the logo on the front. That one might be worth selling, though, so... Uh, yeah, we'll probably list that one. I would imagine, like, $15, maybe. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. Just white. I already see a stain on the back and on the front, so this is a perfect one to tie-dye. So excited. This is another Polo Ralph Lauren. This is blue. Um, it's got, like, a pocket and the logo on the pocket. This one I think I could, at the very least, consign or sell. I'll just put it in the sell pile. This is the brand Michael Brandon. I don't know who that is. This is a size medium. This is basically a Henley t-shirt. I'm going to look it up, so I'll put it in the sell category just so I can do some research in case that's like some crazy bolo brand and that shirt is worth like $800. That's probably not the case. This is brand new. This is Banana Republic. It is a light blue and white striped top in a size large. It retailed for $40. I will go ahead and list that. For the most part, if it's a brand like Banana Republic and if it's new, I'm going to list it. This is a pair of joggers by Banana Republic. These are the Aiden Fit. They're in a size 32 by 32, which is a little too long for my husband, but I'm going to have him try it on anyway. Mm. Otherwise, I will go ahead and list these for sure. They probably will sell for, I would say, at least 25 if not more. These are the Banana Republic Heritage Collection, size 32 by 30, which is my husband's size, but I don't think he'll like these. These have the feel of corduroy without the look of corduroy. I don't know how to explain it. They also have a little bit of wear in the knees, but I think I can list these and... I don't know. We'll see. Actually, maybe this is a good consignment situation. We'll put that in the consignment pile. This is top 10. I don't know what that is. For some reason, I want to say this is like Korea. I feel like 
this could be a good shirt to tie dye except I don't know if it's 100% cotton. Typically when you're going to tie dye something it should be cotton. Oh it is. The tag is in Korean but I know that Myeon is cotton so there's that. This is Polo, no this is Tommy Hilfiger. This is size large. It's like a raglan sleeve sweatshirt in this white and gray. I'm looking for some stains. You guys, I think it's stain free, which is amazing. I'll probably get like, I don't know, 20 to 25 for that one. This is J. Crew Factory. This is a size small. Pretty sure this is some kind of like wool blend. It's a nice, oh, there's a hole. There's a pretty sizable hole right there and there. So pretty sure it's wool because <laughs> that's what happens in wool pieces. Oh, and this is old. This is from 2011. Yeah, that's gonna get donated. This is Banana Republic in a size medium. It's got that like speckled look. You know what I mean? Um, it is a nice kind of grandpa cardigan sweater in a gray color. 40% lamb's wool and then acrylic and nylon. Yeah, I will definitely list that. So much of this kind of stuff. And it's funny because I don't feel like I remember seeing him wearing a lot of that kind of stuff. Like I don't really remember him wearing super chunky things. I don't know. Okay, I think this is more of the wife stuff. And there's some maternity stuff in here because like I said, she just had a baby. This is H&M maternity. It's pretty pilled. I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Um, there are some like sports bra type situations. I don't see a brand on this and I don't see a logo, meaning, you know, it's something like Lulu or something, in which case I don't think it's worth selling. This is... Oh, a skirt. This is Max Studio, which is sold at places like Macy's and um, TJ Maxx. This is not really worth listing, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll consign it. This I could consign. I don't know if they'll take it, but I will at least give them the opportunity to take it. And if they don't take it, maybe I can um, sell it at that pop-up consignment sale. Um, this is a sports bra. I want to say this is A6. Does that sound right? I, there are, okay, hold on, there's a size tag, or just a tag. Yeah, there's no, like, size tag or anything, so I just kind of feel like it's not worth the time and energy it would take to investigate. This is a scarf. How exciting would it be if it were, like, a Burberry scarf? It's not, but it does feel like it's wool. Let's see what it is. It is Club Room. Oh, it's 100% cashmere. Club Room is a brand sold at Macy's. If I can get it to focus, there we go. Um, but even still, I think because of the fact that it's 100% cashmere, it's really nice, it's very lightweight. Hopefully I could sell that for, I don't know, at least 25, if not more. This is a skirt. I don't think it's of high quality. I don't see a tag. Okay, here's a tag. This was, I think, J. Crew. It's from 2010. It's just really old. It's not really like a popular style. I'm gonna go ahead and donate that one. Oh, what is this? What is this belt to? This is a pair of pants, and it's 100% polyester. There's no size. There's no like tag, but it's in really good condition. I think I could. Um, consign this at the next pop-up sale. I think the print is actually like bamboo sticks, which is really interesting. But yeah, I'll go ahead and sell that then. This is another scarf. I feel like it's cashmere as well. This is Marielle Wayth. It's 100% cashmere. I don't know this brand, but I will look it up on the off chance that it's actually a high quality brand. I don't think that it is because it was made in China. Usually if it's like a luxury brand, those pieces are made in like Italy or Spain or places like that, Portugal, but um, we'll look it up, you never know. So that's kind of nice, his and her scarves. This is a mint colored 
sweater. It's just H&M. I'm going to go ahead and donate. There are also some stains and stuff, so I'll donate that. This is another scarf situation. Oh, this is Marc Jacobs. Interesting. I might see. Oh, it's Marc Jacobs. It's like a collaboration between. Okay, I'm so confused. So this is where it says Marc Jacobs. I, here you go. Do you see Marc Jacobs? But then on the tag, it says Target and Neiman Marcus. So that's a lot of brands and companies on one thing. But I will go ahead and keep it to do some research. And that's, you know, part of the process of coming up with the price for them is going through piece by piece, you know, kind of doing the research on what the item is worth, what the comps are, and then going from there. Now there are some stains, but again, we're just going to do our research. Maybe it's worth $300. And if so, I will wash those stains out. Believe you me. This is a pair of shorts. These are from Champion and it's C9 Champion, which is Target Champion. So I will not be keeping these. They're, they're in a size medium. I will probably consign those. I'm not going to list those myself. This is, oh my gosh, I think this is Lululemon. Let's see. I think this is like that scarf that everyone likes. Um, yeah, so this is Lululemon. I also think I have a new one of these still that I have not listed because I'm awful, but um, I will definitely list this and it looks like it's in really good condition. It just feels good. You know what I'm saying? It's that Lululemon. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. I don't know how much that's worth. This. I'm going to guess H&M. Oh, Forever 21. So I will probably just consign this. I don't know. This one, yeah. I don't really want to list it to make like $15 or for it to move for $15. Um, this is a pair of leggings by TNA Sportswear. TNA is Aritzia. So this I might list. It's in pretty good condition. By the way, let me show you TNA. Um, it's like micro ribbed. It is cropped, but given the fact that it's Aritzia, maybe it'll sell somewhat quickly. It's in a size extra small, small. Yeah, I don't think I've ever tried selling Aritzia sportswear before or like athletic wear. And to be honest, I don't find a lot of Aritzia, so that's exciting. This is a pair of like booty shorts. Look at these. These are really little. These are Nike. Um, they're just so little. Like, what do they cover? But these will sell fairly quickly for like $15. I just can't find like a size or anything or a tag. I'll look later. We'll see. We'll see what we can uncover about those. Um, this is a dress from Gap. It's in a size extra small. This is like perfect for consigning. This is not something that I want to list and photograph and ship out myself, but I think those are good things to, you know, either consign with a local consignment store or to consign at that pop-up consignment sale that I just did not too long ago. This is the brand Japna. Japna? I'm not sure how to say it. I see this all the time at the thrift store. Um, I think they have really cute styles every once in a while. Like, this is not bad. It is a maxi dress. It's striped, and it's got this really nice, like, embroidery and lace detail along the neckline. It's got a smocked back. It's kind of sweet. I just don't feel like I'll be able to make a whole lot off of it. But maybe it'll sell for, like, even $20. Like, that would be nice. So I'll go ahead and list it. Um, we have another scarf. This one is Banana Republic. It's 100% wool. So they're like really into scarves, or they were. So I will go ahead and list that. This one needs a good steam. That's for sure. Scarves actually sell really well. Here's another scarf. This one is... Let's see if we can find... 
a tag. This is Banana Republic as well. This is 100% merino wool. It's in this nice solid black color. It is ribbed. It's really nice. This I think is more of a men's scarf. Nice and thick, but still lightweight. Like thick as in, yeah, not like it's a thick material. This is a skirt, I want to say. I'm not seeing any sort of brand. I'm not seeing any labels, any tags. Let's see down here. It's actually nice, like Siwa size, super, okay, I think this is a Korean brand, made in Korea. Um, I honestly might try it myself. It's just like a nice midi skirt in like a plain gray color. I think this will go in my pile. It's the first thing to go in there. This is, ooh, okay. This is a midi skirt as well, but it's like ribbed. I actually really, really like that. Oh, that would look so cute with like a chunky sweater. I think this is from Korea as well, but this I am going to try on for myself. Oh my gosh, is this a scarf? <laughs> Whew. Okay, this is Banana Republic. It is viscose merino wool nylon cotton cashmere and alpaca it is a very chunky gray knit um infinity scarf it is like cable knit it's really nice um i will list that not anytime soon because it's not really scarf shopping season this is a skirt and it is by abercrombie it's a size small it is in like this very very light gray color yeah there's a stain See, and I just, I bet it's not really worth that much. I can't find the stain now. Maybe I will try to consign it. Let's go that route. I don't want to list that myself. This, I think, is a sweater. This is Forever 21. This is in a size medium. It is this black, like, southwestern print sweater. I will try to consign this. I definitely don't need to be listing that. This is Mossimo Supply Co., which means it is Target. It appears to be pretty heavily pilled. Um, this is just not going to be worth listing, so I'm going to go ahead and consign it. I mean, not consign it, donate it. I don't think I can consign it either. This appears to be another skirt. This is Forever 21 as well. This is a size small. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cute. It's, like, definitely got that, like, Kind of geek secretary vibe. Oh, but it's missing a button at the top. So, donate. This appears to be another dress. This is pink rose. What is that? Is that Kohl's, TJ Maxx, that sort of thing? Um, this is a definite just consign it situation. It's cute, but, you know, it's not high quality. It doesn't retail for much. I'll just try to sell it for like 5 or $6 through consignment. This is... I don't know how to say this brand. I see it all the time at the thrift store and at places like Plato's Closet. It is a black and white, again, like micro ribbed midi dress, I want to say. It's pretty cute. It's got a racer back. It doesn't have a size though, but I think I could consign this. Um, oh, 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 what's happening here? This is, oh, okay. This is Forever 21. <laughs> It is like a tube dress. It is in this pink color. It's smocked at the top. This would actually be a really good like swim cover. I'm just going to consign that. And then this is, I think, the same thing. Yeah, same thing, Forever 21. The label looks like this. Forever 21 has gone through a bunch of different labels, but that's one of them. It's an older one. This is like a paisley print. Again, this would be a really great swimsuit cover. Um, just with that smock top, but it's not really anything that I need to be listing. This is, this is pretty. This is Express. It's in a size four. It is, oh, it's like a strapless jumpsuit, but it's white. So I'm just looking for like a big wine stain or, oh, wow. I think it's actually in pristine condition which is amazing to me. Okay, that one I think is good to go. I can probably list this for around, 
I want to say 25 but probably more, like maybe $35. That's really nice. This is Wilfred, which is Aritzia. Um, it is in a size medium, and I don't think it's been... Actually, I think it has been... Uh, I feel like Aritzia sweaters, whenever you find them, they're always shrunk in the wash. But I don't think this one has been. It's this purple, and it's got like that kind of fuzzy exterior. I don't know how else to explain it. Let's see what it's made of. This is made of Angora and nylon. But I think we're good to go. I don't think that it's been shrunk. I just think it's kind of cropped. So that's exciting. I can probably list that for at least 35. Whoa, what's happening here? This is H&M Basics. This is a size medium. It's a very basic dress. As the name suggests, I shall try to consign that. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. Oh, it's like a t-shirt dress. That's actually really cute. There are some stains on it and stuff, but maybe I'll wash this one and maybe I'll wear it myself. Okay, this will go in a new pile called Please Wash This. This is H&M. Same kind of situation. It's just like a t-shirt dress. This is in a size small. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that one too for myself. This is new with tags, Banana Republic size four. It's very, very yellow, <laughs> but new with tags. I'll go ahead and list it. It is perfect for the summer. Um, doesn't say how much it costs. It's got a nice high neck. I mean, it's a fun thing to wear in the spring and summer. You could wear it to like a wedding. Yeah. Last thing in here, this is Polo. No, this is Ralph Lauren Sport in a size small. So we've seen a lot of iterations of Ralph Lauren. This is um, just a nice little polo t-shirt dress. These I don't wear for some reason. I just feel like they're so preppy and just, yeah, but definitely worth selling for sure. I think I could get at least 25-ish for that. All right, that is the end of this box. We have one more to go. All right, this is a heavy box and it's kind of stuffed to the brim. So, Let's just start at the very top. This is TNA. So this again is Aritzia. It's the boyfriend fit. It's like a flannel button up shirt. It's in a size extra small. It has a good amount of pilling. Like I don't, I don't really think it's worth selling, which is sad, but it just means it had a good life. You know, <laughs> Like it, it was worn a lot and well loved, which is great. This is Gap Fit. It is just like an athletic wear jacket. I am going to go ahead and consign this. Gap Fit, I think they make fine enough stuff. I think it's decent. It's like, you know, okay quality. It does not resell for a whole lot. This is new in the box. We're going to see what it is. It's Guess. Oh, it's a wallet. It's a big wallet. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys still use big wallets like this? I feel like people don't really anymore. Like people are definitely into the smaller stuff, but I'm curious. I use literally like the smallest little thing that there is. It's like a little pouch from Madewell and you just kind of shove your like credit cards in there. I used to be a big wallet type person though. Okay, let me zip this up. This is another Polo Ralph Lauren situation in like a brighter blue color. So this is what the hoodie looks like. It's kind of lightweight. It's got like a really bright green logo. Um, but yeah, this is in a size large and it is perfect for just a casual outer layer, probably um, worth at least $25, $35. This is a long line vest for women from Mossimo, which is Target, um, size extra small. I'm going to go ahead and consign this one, probably list it for like $8.00 you know, have it go half off on half off day. This is Pop Icon Clothing. I don't know who that's by. Part of me wants to say like Buckle. Is that Buckle? Pop Icon. Have you heard of that? I don't know what that is. Um, I will look it up. This one is in good condition. It's like a flannel, which I feel like flannels are always in. We'll see. This is Aero Pastel. This is a size medium. Aero Pastel is definitely not a brand that I typically resell just because again it doesn't retail for a ton it definitely doesn't resell for a ton so this is going to go in my consign it pile 
This is a blazer from Silence and Noise, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. This is a size medium. Again, I think I will just go ahead and consign... Eh. Yeah, no, you know, it's got a decent amount of pilling. So I almost feel like this is just something that I donate. Yeah, I think that's a donate pile. This is, I think, a men's blazer. I think it's linen. That's what it feels like. Um, sometimes you have to dig like on the inside of men's blazers to see the brand and the size tag and all that. So this is 100% linen, but who made you? Summer of 2014. This is an older piece. But, oh, okay. Oh, it's Banana Republic Heritage. It's a size 40 regular. Um, so let me show you the exterior now. This is what it looks like. It is like a beige linen two button blazer. I think it's perfect for, you know, like the summer and spring. Definitely worth listing. I think I should be able to pull. I mean, I feel like I would list something like this for like $50, but I don't know if that's just because I'm being crazy right now or what. All right, now we've got ties. We've got a bunch of ties, which I hate, but if they're any good, they might be worth sending into the real reel. So this one is Neiman Marcus. I might see if I can send this into the real reel. I know they do sometimes take Neiman Marcus type stuff. It's just a black and white polka dot tie. I think that's really cute. This is a cute tie. Oh, this is brand new with tags. This is J. Crew Factory. It's the narrow tie. I would show this to my husband, except for the fact that I think he has enough ties and he doesn't even wear the ties that he has. I don't know what it is about ties. I just don't like want to take the time to photograph them and list them, even though it's so easy to do. Um, but I should because when I list them, I do end up selling them. So this one I should list. This one does not feel very good. This one is Via Europa Fine Neckwear. This one I will try to consign. I'll try to consign this with a local consignment store, but that one does not seem like it is worth my time. This is Henry Jacobson, same situation. Pretty sure this is 100% silk, as I would say the majority of like decent ties are, but again, it's not, it's not really worth my time. Henry Jacobson. This purple tie is Alfani, which again is Macy's. This is in that more modern, like, narrow width, width, but no, that will go to a consignment store. This one is BCBG Attitude. Um, BCBG is like decent. We'll see. Maybe I'll list it. It is one of those like slightly thicker ties, but this one I guess we can list. This is a nice thin gray tie. This is J. Crew Factory. I'll go ahead and list that one. I know people always say with ties, like, just lot them together. And, yeah, I guess I could. But this is another Alfani tie in this pink color. I am going to go ahead and consign that. This is a silver tie by Alfani. This will get consigned. This is another blazer. Oh, this is like a full suit, actually. So this is from, well, I don't know where it's from, but it's a slim fit suit in this like grayish blue. Let's start digging in the pockets and see if we can find out. Okay, this is Perry Ellis, which most likely means it was um, like Macy's or something like that. Oh, it matches my wall so nicely. It's a nice suit though. And I think I can definitely make some money off of it. Let's see the size. I feel like suits tend to sit for a little bit. They don't sell instantaneously, but when they sell, you get a decent amount. So this is in a size 40 short. Um, there are matching pants to go with it. These are in a size 30 by 30. Yeah. Suits are never a horrible thing to have listed. Again, a longer tail item, but when they sell, I think you can make good money. So a lot of menswear stuff in this box, which I will never complain about because I love selling menswear. Um, this is Perry Ellis as well. This is in like a slightly different color. It's like a little bit brighter than the last thing I showed you. This is um, in a size 32 by 30, so the pants are a little bit bigger. 
I'm wondering if the jacket is the same size. We shall see. You might hear my daughter playing hot cross buns on her recorder. She's been like really into um, like wanting to practice piano and recorder and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of cool. So this isn't a size 40 regular and the buttons are still attached. So I kind of feel like, I mean, these don't look like or feel like they've been worn. So especially this one, I feel like I could list it as new without tags, which is nice. Another suit. There's like a handful of suits in here. This one does not feel the same. So this, but it might be, it might be Perry Ellis. This is still Perry Ellis. This one is also, I think, new with tags because it comes with the buttons. And this one is in a size 40 regular. Nice. This is more of like a gray color. And it's definitely a different exterior. Part of me almost wonders, I don't think it's linen, but it kind of, it kind of has that feel. Let's see. This one is, this is just 100% cotton, so. But yeah, that's really nice. And then the matching bottoms are, oh geez, my piles are starting to fall over. 32 by 30. So there are those. Let's take a break from suits for a second. Here is another pullover hoodie from Polo Ralph Lauren. This is, um, you know, striped, very preppy. It's got the kangaroo pocket on the front. It does have a hood, like I said, and this is in um, a size large. It's really nice. This should go for at least 25, if not more. I think this is the same thing, but in red and blue. So there's that. Um, oh, I see some shoes. That's exciting. Here's another suit. I think this is Perry Ellis as well. He just loved Perry Ellis, I guess. Yes, I'm not going to like go through the size and stuff, but this is a darker gray suit. You know, I think it's one of those things like when you figure out in any given brand what size you are and what style from that brand you like, you just stock up on it in all the colors. You know, we're seeing that from this person in their suits. We're seeing it in their hoodies from like Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, and I think that's smart. This is a jacket. This is by Obey. Propaganda. This is a size medium. This is actually a really good brand. Whenever I have it, I never am able to hold on to it for very long. And this is a nice jacket. Um, it's kind of like a utility jacket. It's got all these pockets in the front. It's got a hood. And I think that the hood will zip into the collar. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This is in, did I say this already? In a size medium. I expect this to sell for at least $50, if not more. So that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna pull this bag closer to me. This is the North Face, which I heard that the real, real takes, even in just the simplest form of like beanies and such. This is in pretty rough shape, but I just wanna experiment and see what they do if I send them that. Let's see what happens. This is. TNA. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this is an Aritzia jacket. I think it's down. Yeah. It's down filled. It's slim fit. Holy cow. Okay. So there are some like marks and stains and stuff like you can see right here. I feel like I could get that out. Something like this, I am willing to spend a good amount of time and energy trying to clean up so that it's in the best shape possible because this is gonna be worth some serious money. I don't know how much yet. I have to do a little bit of research, um, but that is nice. That is really nice. Wow, I bet this retail for like three, $400. Aritzia is just so expensive. Whew, that is really exciting. Okay, put that there. This is a pair of jeans. These are Levi's, the 514 Slim Straight. Um, these are in a size 32 by 30. I might see if my husband wants to try these on too. Because I think he likes the Slim Straight. And um, Levi's are just a classic. This is Gap Skinny Jeans, size 32 by 30. They're in this weird kind of like light gray color. 
I will see if my husband wants to try those on, but I don't think he's about that gray life. Okay, now these button-up shirts, this is what I mean when I talk about the yellowing on the inside of the collar. That's just not really worth my time. I know like if there's a lot of those, you could kind of bundle them together and let people know like these need a really good soaking um, and just sell them for cheap in like a bundle or something. But I don't know, I'm not really about that life right now. This is J. Crew Factory. This is a size medium. It's just a really nice yellow checkered button up shirt, button up, button down, button down shirt. And you know it's button down because there's an actual button on the collar that buttons the collar down to the shirt. This is really nice. I hate button-up shirts because they always need a steam. They're always just, yeah, but I mean, that one's really nice. This is J. Crew Factory as well. This is a size small. There is some, yeah, see, like, you can especially tell when you unfold the collar and you can see all that yellowing and discoloration. This one, I think, has to go. This is J. Crew Factory as well. This is in a size small. This is just a very classic red button-down shirt. There is no ring around the collar, no yellowing, so this one I will go ahead and list. Usually these button-up type shirts, I list them for 25, but I will take anything north of 15, if I'm being honest. This is um, the Modern Oxford by Gap in this really pretty lavender color. It's like much heavier than the J. Crew Factory ones I just showed you. This probably I would only list for 20 because Gap is Gap and J. Crew is J. Crew, but I think it'll sell. Um, let's see what this is. This is a lightweight puffer jacket. The brand is Hawk & Co. Sport. I don't really know very much about this brand. I don't think it's anything super special. This is a size medium, full zip, super lightweight. Still think I could probably make at least 25 off of this. Um, we have this pea coat, ooh, so heavy duty, from Calvin Klein, and it's a size small. I'm willing to bet that it's made of some wool, let's see, 60% wool, and then there's polyester, rayon, other fibers. Um, even though, like, you can probably find a bajillion of these, you know, at the thrift store and whatnot, they typically sell for at least... 35 if not more um, because people need this kind of stuff. They need stuff like this to wear to work and to more formal places in the winter time. So it's one of those things like maybe they don't want it but they're gonna buy it and they'd rather buy it for cheap than have to buy it retail. This is Mark New York, Andrew Mark, size medium. It is, it's nice. It's kind of like a bomber jacket. It's got all these pockets on the front again. Um, there's no hood, and it feels like it could be, no, it's not down, so. Yeah, there's like a fleece lining at parts, and then like mesh, yeah, the filler is just polyester. It's nice though, I mean, I should be able to pull at least 35 out of this. Yeah, not bad. And then we will end our time together, let me put that down, oh, don't fall, so much clothes with um, some accessories and some shoes. Well, one accessories. So this is in a box labeled Psycho Seiko. I don't know how to say it. It's probably not Psycho. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so there are three watches in here. None of them are working. So I think they all need new batteries. I don't know very much, oh my goodness. I don't know very much about watches. I have sold them before. This is a Skagen watch, which I, I think I've heard is a pretty good brand. It has a leather band, a black leather band. Um, there is a little bit of wear on the band. This is so lightweight and just so small. Yeah, it definitely needs a new battery. And I have sold watches that need new batteries. I just make sure that I'm very explicit about that fact when I list it. This is by Guess, but this one, it kind of looks like there's some condensation on the inside, like underneath this top panel, which I feel like is not good. I don't feel like you want that. So, I don't know. It says Guess Steel, water resistant, but is it water resistant if there's <laughs> condensation on the inside? And then this is by Timex. So it's kind of funny because this box says what is it, Seiko, Seiko, whatever, but um, none of these watches are by that brand. Anyway, 
This is Timex. Um, this is what the watch face looks like. It has a brown leather and it says genuine leather wristband. Yeah, I think I should be able to sell all of these with the exception of perhaps that guest watch because I just don't know about that condensation. That doesn't look very good. Maybe I'll just auction that one off and see how much I can get for it. Isn't that a good plan? Um, the Skagen one I'm kind of excited by, although there's a little bit more wear to that leather than there is on the Timex, but hey, let's, let's see what happens. And then there are two pairs of shoes in here. This one is by Cole Haan. These are in a size 9M. I love selling Cole Haan, and they're in pretty good condition. They're just a pair of like Oxford ankle boots or just Oxfords. Um, the exterior is great. They don't look like they'll be very comfortable, but I should be able to sell these for, I would say, at least 40 ish dollars. And this is another pair of Cole Haan shoes. Um, these are in like a pebbled black leather. Again, just really nice. A little bit of wear on the bottom, but for the most part, in really good shape. And these are also in a size nine. I might see if my husband wants to try these on, but he's not really about these shoes that like come up a little bit higher at the ankle. It's just not his style, but we'll put them in the pile for him and see what he thinks. Mm -hmm. You guys, this video right now is clocking in at an hour and 24 minutes. So if you are still here, you are amazing. The moral of this story is, one, there's like a random rope and I don't know what this goes to, but two, the moral of the story of this video is that you should tell people what you do. You should tell people because even though probably a lot of this stuff I would have passed on at the thrift store, um, one, I have a nice healthy pile of stuff in front of me that I'm going to consign, which means I don't really have to do that much work. I don't have to photograph. I don't have to ship those items out. I have a healthy pile of stuff that I'm going to see if my husband wants to keep it. I do have a pretty sizable pile. Let me show you. Let me show you what we're working with here. Like this whole pile here, this is all stuff that I'm gonna donate that random box on top is one of the boxes that they gave me the clothes in, but that's a lot of stuff to donate. But even still, look at all the stuff I'm keeping. This pile right here, let me see if I can get that up. This pile is for my husband. Oh, it's falling. Hold on, there we go. That pile is for my husband to try. That. A pile of two little skirts that's for me this pile right here is stuff that I'm gonna consign um, I'm gonna list those few things this is my tie-dye pile and this is all stuff that most likely I am going to list I mean there are probably I don't know like I would say close to at least 75 pieces that I'm gonna list and I'm really excited because I didn't have to go out and source these things. Although I know sourcing is kind of like the best part. It's also one of those things that takes up some time. So I'm happy to have all this inventory in my house. I'm happy to help my friends out and essentially write them a check. Although I'm not going to write them a check. I'm going to just send them money via Venmo because um, we are, you know, in the 21st century after all. But I'm really excited about having all this inventory and I'm excited to show you what is in some of these other bags. They're from different people. So there's going to be very different kinds of things in there, different brands. So again, make sure that you are subscribed if you enjoyed seeing what kind of stuff I got from friends and family because there are more of these kinds of videos coming your way. Thank you so much. If you are still here, that means you really hopefully got some work done in the background, but thank you for hanging out with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it because I know you could be spending your time doing a lot of other things, but instead you decided to spend your time with me. So thank you so much. I hope that this inspired you to get to listing and start telling people what you do so that you can get some inventory in this way as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!